So welcome to the setup part. Uh, first of all, we're gonna make sure that everyone is on the same page and we have the same tools to start with. So a necessity, and it's an obvious one, we need Node.js. Uh, probably you have it. If you don't, make sure that you have the LTS version. And the last one has some problems, so always go for the LTS version. It's the most consistent. Also, we're gonna need the code editor. My preferable choice is Visual Studio Code. You go for whatever you want. I think Visual Studio is my, my you know, my best choice because it's fast you know reliable and it's efficient so and it's lightweight and also i'm going to show you some uh, add-ons or extensions that you can add to your um, vs code to up the quality of your code you know and make your code faster other thing that we're going to need is postman we need it to test our api and to test our server you know our endpoints so all the requests we're going to use postman to send it to the server and get all our responses it's pretty cool it's mandatory i think so also you need to sign up to like save your process your process and uh, it's easy also you have they have two versions like you can use the web version or also you can download the desktop app I always go for the desktop apps. They're more reliable and you know more consistent, and less buggy. You know the web version is alright, but I advise you too to download the desktop app. Same way goes for MongoDB Campus. Just download it. It's a desktop app that allows us to you know to access our cluster and see our MongoDB databases uh, and see the changes live. So you need like a key and also to connect, but you don't worry about that. Just download the application and then when we come to the MongoDB part, we're gonna create a cluster and set up all of this and then connect to the database. So that's for you. Also, you need Cloudinary. You need an account here. So this is where we're gonna upload our images. So make sure you sign up. It's free and simple and easy. So when we come to Cloudinary parts, you have your account ready. The last thing that we're gonna need for now is a Gmail account. Probably you have it. Uh, if you like using it for um, you watching this for just like learning, you can use whatever Gmail you want. If you want to build like an application, a social media application, make sure that the name, the user and username is related to your application because we're going to use this Gmail account to send, you know, emails and verification code and receive password codes using this Gmail. So like, for example, my application called Facebook, I'm going to make sure the username is related to Facebook. You know, depending on what your application is, make sure the username is related to it. So it looks like more professional and more convincing. So these are, you know, the main thing that we're going to need for the beginning. There are a lot of things that we're going to need after, but for now, this is where you need to get started. So make sure that you do all of this and then